Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Taisha. Um, I say um a lot. Okay, I'm doing a story time type of a video. Um, I did another one of these and I forgot what it was about. Uh, it was like date horror stories or something. And I actually want to tell you something that happened to me a very long time ago. This is like so many years ago when I was like 20 years old. I'm 22 now and I wanted to uh, talk to you guys I haven't talked to the camera in forever so I'm gonna do it today and as you can tell my hair came in the Bellamy's they're really long I do plan on cutting these because they are way too long I think for me and they're quite heavy so but the next video next video the next video that you see with me will probably be my hair will probably be way shorter than this. So, um, the story that I'm going to tell you guys happened forever ago. And this was when I was single. And I was, like, trying to date again. I have no idea. I have no idea. I was, like, in college at a junior college. And I even forgot, like, what was going on. But I was thinking about this last night. Things happened. I started talking to this guy. Um, let's just say his name was George? I don't know. We were talking about for a week or two, and he found me on Facebook, and we started chatting. This is why I don't get on Facebook anymore. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm like never on that side anymore. Yeah. We were talking about for a week or two, and we had stopped talking for a while, and then we started back up again, and I was single, so... He was like, hey, do you want to come hang out in my house? Uh, this was like during the day, so I was like, okay, that's fine. It was like 2 p.m., so nothing could happen. And he lived with his parents, so I went. <laughs> I don't know why I do this, but I went to his house, and first I could not find his house because he lived far from me, and I was driving, it seemed like about 45 minutes out of the way from where I live and the GPS could not even find his house. I don't know why. I guess it was like newly built. Oh yeah, it was newly built because when I got there, he lived in the suburbs and he was like the first house on when I first turned into it. It was like freshly built suburb houses and this house was really big, you guys. It was it was really big and um he I like texted him and said, I was like in his parking lot and said where can I park and stuff he was like oh just park behind this car or whatever the gray Toyota and he and then he came out of the house and he looked so different from his pictures that was on Facebook like he had old pictures on there and it was pretty much just his face, so I didn't, couldn't really see. So he was kind of chubby, and I didn't know that at the time until he came out of his house. And I was like, oh my god, I did not know he was like, he was not fat or anything. He was just a little bit big boned, and I didn't know that. And I thought that I was catfished a little bit because he didn't tell me what was, what he looked like really. And... I have pictures of myself. I'm on Instagram and stuff, so you guys have seen it probably. felt a little betrayed a little bit that he didn't tell me about that, but uh, his house was really beautiful. Like, he, his mom was home and his little sister, and we were, like, downstairs, but it's like a two-story house, and pretty much we were just talking for a little bit. He was talking about the movie that he was in. He was actually an actor, and... Um, he was going to be in a couple of movies like Pitch Perfect and stuff because he could like sing really good. And he always wore beanies. Like he had a beanie when I first met him and in his all his pictures was like when he was wearing beanies. And what else do I have to say? We were talking about like movies and stuff like that and that he was going to move to California and I wasn't pretty much doing anything at the time. Uh, I wore white jeans, which is really weird. They're like low-rise white jeans, skinny jeans, and 
I don't know why I wore that because I had like on some foundation I didn't want to like smear it on my pants and it was really cold in their house so he gave me a blanket and we watched like Bates Motel I think that's like a show uh, it could be on Netflix I don't know blue he like kissed me and then I kind of pulled away a little bit because I was in shock because I didn't really know him that well. I was in his house, his mom was home, and it was really weird. <laughs> we started making out at one point, but I was totally not into it. I was kind of ready to go, but I finished watching, like we watched some Key and Peele too. That's like one of my favorite TV shows. This is the time when I had the iPhone 5. This is so long ago that I had the 5. And yeah, I was like, I have a shift that I have to go to because I was working at Hollister at the time, so he said, okay, just stay for um, a little bit longer or something. I was like, no, I can't because I have to go. And his mom came in at one point and was like, do you guys want anything? Like, do you want something to drink or um, something? I was like, no, I'm fine, but it's nice to meet you. I'm probably never going to see you again, but hi and um and I think that was about it we finished like chatting and I said I would text him later never did it never did cause it I don't know I felt like I was catfished I mean he was cute in the face but he was not what I was thinking that he would be like on the body I'm not superficial or anything but I like I don't like when people lie to me. He didn't really tell me the truth about himself, so I was just kind of out of there or done with it. But yeah, I would say beware of people on social media. So it, it's hard to tell if people are good or nice or anything that you tell you because you don't know, really. That was a very boring story. I think I could have told something else but I can't think of anything but I hope you guys enjoy this video it was quite short next time you see me this hair is gonna be kinda chopped so I'll see you guys in my next video I love you so much please subscribe follow me on any social medias and I'll see you in my next one bye